You know, the thing about Kamala Harris is, is she says a lot of words, but none of it ever seems to make any sense. A recent CBS poll found that at the beginning of President Biden's term, 70% of young people, people under 30, said he was doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Now it's less than 50%. Why is that? What's going on? If you poll how young people feel about the climate and the warming of our planet, it polls as one of their top concerns. When we talk about what we are doing with student loan debt, polls very high. Uh, the challenge that we have as an administration is we gotta let people know who brung it to them. <laughs> That's our challenge. So I don't know if you noticed this, but she didn't really answer the question. All she said was, oh, you just wait though till you see the polls on climate change believers, cause that's what young voters really care about. Honestly, I'm a young voter, I'm Gen Z. I don't care whatsoever about climate change policies right now. Right now what I care about is getting the general state of America back on a solid track. And that's not to say that I wouldn't be open to having some green policies in the future, but the Democrat party is literally just pandering this idea that the whole world is going to burn unless you give us all your tax dollars and put it towards things that are clearly not helping society. And as for the student loan thing, yes, it's a top concern for me, but you haven't done anything. It's not legal. And unfortunately, for better or for worse, however you wanna look at this, cause honestly, I don't really care how you feel about it. The thing is, it's illegal to just clear everybody's student loan debt. Joe Biden tried and he failed. So by saying that you're the one that's fixing these problems, you're not fixing the problem. You're trying to do something illegal. And then you're also pointing at the opposition and saying that they're doing illegal stuff. Young people and people in general who don't support Kamala Harris don't not support you because we aren't well aware of the climate change propaganda that you're pushing on people. And again, there is a there's a line between legitimate concerns for climate change, okay, and then implementing policies that are detrimental to society and just simply pandering to people. Kamala Harris, the Democrats have been pretty effective at pandering climate change anxiety. That's a real phrase she uses that young people are so anxious about it. That's why they're scared to have kids. No, Kamala Harris, people are scared to have kids because they can't afford to have kids. And we live in a culture that is telling us that, oh, you're anxious about the climate and that cultural and social norms are somehow bad and you have to fight the patriarchy. No, that's not the case. The only thing Kamala Harris and Joe Biden, their entire administration has brought to us is a nation in decline. And just to reiterate, she never even really answered the question. All she said was climate change and student loans. One thing that we do know for sure about Kamala Harris, a question that she has answered is her thoughts about giving prisoners access to free, free transgender surgeries. That's right. If you're a male, in a prison and you wanna go through transgender surgery, well, don't worry. She wants every single taxpayer to be able to pay money to give a prisoner gender altering surgery. When I was attorney general, I learned that the California Department of Corrections, which was a client of mine, I didn't get to choose my clients. Right, a client of the attorney general. A client of the attorney general, right. of the office of attorney general that they were standing in the way of, of, of surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. And there was a specific case. And when I learned about the case, I worked behind the scenes to not only make sure that that transgender woman got the services she was deserving. So it wasn't only about that case. I made sure that they changed the policy in the state of California so that every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access to the medical care that they desired and need. And I believe it was not only, I know it was historic in California, but I believe actually it may have been one of the first, if not the first in the country where I pushed for that policy in a department of corrections. Let's put opinions aside about transgender surgery and ideology. Let me know down in the comments, do you legitimately want your tax dollars going towards gender mutilation for prisoners. Seriously, let me know down in the comments because I think I'd rather literally light my taxpayer money on fire 
than let a prisoner chop off their bits and pieces on my dollar. You wanna give prisoners taxpayer dollars to do that? Also, she didn't mention it in this, but if, if this gender affirming surgery is so real and authentic and we want it to happen, if I'm in a male prison and I go through, through this surgery, Kamala Harris wants that person to be able to go into a woman's prison following that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is right. If you are maybe scared in the male prison system, maybe you're not holding up too well and you're a male. And then you say, oh, I got an idea. I'll just say I'm transgender, get a surgery on the taxpayer dollars, and then I'm gonna go to the woman's prison. And you know what, let's be honest here. Do you think that if a man who transitioned into a woman is going into a woman's prison, do you think that they may have certain proclivities that may or may not sway them to do things that would maybe constitute further jail time, perhaps even the death penalty? You can let me know down in the comments. I'm trying to be a little careful how I talk about some of this stuff because YouTube has some strict-ish policies on talking about topics like this, but you can imagine that maybe it's not in the best interest of society of me being able to give my taxpayer dollars, well, take it away from me rather, because I'm not advocating for this, my taxpayer dollars getting used on a male to turn into a woman, turn into a woman, and then go into a woman's prison. Do you really want that for society? Do you really think that that's gonna be beneficial to America? That's just an example of a solution Kamala Harris does have. That's her solution to making America better, to make America great again, right? Her solution is transing the prisoners sending them to different prisons. Okay, but what about a topic like the economy? Well, let's start with this. Uh, prices have gone up <laughs> and families and individuals are dealing with the realities of, of the, that bread costs more, that gas costs more. And we have to understand what that means. That's about the cost of living going up. That's about having to stress and stretch limited resources. That's about a source of stress for families that is not only economic, but is on a daily level, something that is a heavy weight to carry. So it is something that we take very seriously, very seriously. And we know from the history of this issue in the United States that when you see these prices go up, it has a direct impact on the quality of life for all people in our country. So it's a big issue and we take it seriously. Hear that folks, it's a big issue. How she's gonna fix that problem, we don't know because she literally just talked in circles. Well, things are more expensive. Bread, it costs more. And honestly, I do the big delays between phrases that she said, I'm not gonna waste your time. The price of gas is also more. It's like, oh, that's an astute observation. Ms. Kamala Harris, do you have any other keen observations for us? Oh, well, that just means that the overall cost of living has gone up. Wow, that's just bloody brilliant. I'm so happy that you managed to point all of that out to us. And it's hard, and it really stretches us out. Yeah, lady, you said the same thing seven different ways. Why don't you just give me an economic plan? It almost feels like she's trying to explain what hardship is, economic hardship is, without ever actually experiencing it, which is 100% true, Kamala Harris was indeed born with a golden spoon in her mouth. So maybe that's why she is literally unable to comprehend what it would even be like for the average American right now. And you can let me know down in the comments, how are you doing financially right now? How have you been doing over the last three, four years underneath the Biden administration economically? Is, it, is the cost of bread up? Like obviously the cost of bread is up, you imbecile. Give us a damn answer on how you're gonna fix this. Anyways, please, for the love of God, do not elect Kamala Harris for the presidency, okay? Just, just vote Donald Trump. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. My name is Beans, thank you for watching The Daily Beans. Have a blessed day.